and do a quick Now for the these right hand side ones, just a quick flick here. Switch to the rigger. And just a few little twigs and branches sticking out. Back to the ache and then just try and bring the brush, trying to get a bit of variation in these and all this foliage. And so just vary the colours a little bit. And again. Again, try not to have them all the same height all the time. Um, that's going right up into the air now. The foreground. Just needs a just needs a focal point roller. I might put a little boat little boat sailing past. I can't see any but I need to worry about that. I mean, we've always got license to uh, improve the paint in them however you see fit. So I'm just going to use a damp, damp rigger. Hang on, just trying to work out the scar now. The boat will be about, about that big. Don't forget the reflection. Oh, you can't really see that too well, but it, it is there. It is there. And there. Just to stick a little. So that's the sail, and then the actual. Um, boat itself just put a little dark a bit dark a bit along there didn't quite get that right but Does that look like a bow? Does it look like a bow? I don't know. Just 
one to sort of reflection on it as well. That'll do. I'm going to leave it at that before I mess about with it too much more. Something like that down the side, that'll do. That's it, I, I ain't going to mess about that anymore. Um, I want to make sure I don't put my hand on the wet paint. Couple of little birds there, and then if I just get a bit of a bit of wet paint from somewhere on the palette, which is a dark colour, and then just sign it. And that's another one done. So there's our little scene. I mean, I've changed it about somewhat. I mean, you can see I've changed all the colours for a start. I've just tried to try and make it a bit more atmospheric, really. Just framed it with those big trees there on the left. And stuck our little boat in, just to give it a focal point. Now I've just turned the car around, just so I've got a better view on this one. This is a nice. Um, Nice little scene. We got um, I'm going to try and sort of frame it, something like that. But I'll try and get some foregrounding as well. So you got the, the distant trees, and then the nearer trees on the right hand side. We got the foreground, um, big ones on the left, and then try and get some of this in as well. So again, I'm just going to start by. Just wetting the paper all over. And then, poor Sienna. All the way down to the bottom. Clean the brush. Ultramarine. I'm just going to brush that in from the right hand side. Just try and pick up any bits of water that are running down the page. And then maybe a few little clouds, a lizard in crimson, pines grey. Again, also, this is also as an excuse to just try and pick up some of those little bits of water that are floating down. And I only want to keep this very subtle, a bit more over there. That'll do for the clouds. Now, if we go back into those sky colours, I can then, oh, about two thirds of the way up. In those distant trees, work my way across there. Also, putting in the reflections as I'm doing them. That's over raw sienna, just to get a little bit of variation in there. And then there's some nearer trees, so I'm going to put those in stronger paints. Less water, more paint. Put those in stronger. That's those in. Next, I want to put these uh, this left hand big tree now over here on the left. So it's I'm going to go whoop, big 